Okay, RM, I got my little studio uh, set up with some paper on the ground. Uh, Port of the Queen. Now, I don't have enough paints to finish this, or I would probably make her more flesh color, but uh, Joy of Portraiture, uh, if you're trying to really space space everything perfectly the nose could be too short the nose could be too long or the mouth could not be in the right spot then you might be having some problems because you're changing things too much but you could change things a little bit but her lips are very hard to get she's supposed to be smiling in this one so well, that's a sketch I could have made this a little bit too long, but I don't know if I might change that or not. But not that doesn't worry me too much. It's only off by like a inch or so. So it looks a bit better on here, the sketch. So I followed this sketch because I can she had a pink hat. So I'll probably go make some pink color to get the hat and the shirt pink. So I have to buy white, I have to buy red, I have to buy probably brown, blue, green, all those colors to really get her portrait going in color and the background. This is the queen, so she's smiling in this one. So I might try to get the lips a little bit up, up a little bit. I don't have to change that, but uh, I'm not too fussy. From a distance it doesn't look too bad. So. If you worry about getting everything perfectly, then uh, portraiture might not be for you. You see, yeah, I got to really get fussy with it, to the light box and all the tracing. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes you just want to freehanded, like this is freehanded sketched. So, queen the hat could be off a little bit. This could be a little bit wider, but. Again, if you're too fussy with the painting, then unless you're trying to get perfection in a portrait, but I'm just trying to get the sketch in. And the queen, I wanted to paint her. So, and I started with the sketch that I made, just a paper sketch. Uh, I have to invest in at least another 100 bucks in oil paints. So I buy the big tubes just to finish this one. Like I finished off the uh, Madonna portrait. So she's mostly in pink, and down here is mostly pink. And she's smiling, so teeth are really hard to get. But I think overall I achieved what I need to in this painting, so I'm pretty happy with it for a sketch. And I probably would get more white and more pink to finish her tone. Go back into the tone and start getting the tone. But that would take another 100 bucks, another 200 bucks just to get there. And a canvas like this is about 50 bucks, so it's a pretty expensive investment. But if the queen wants to pick up for her. Palace. Uh, she'll probably have to have somebody from there come to my place to get it, or just gonna stay with me. Usually, portraits I like to charge about five thousand right now, be good, but that's on the high end. But privately, it could be a little bit cheaper because uh, doing galleries, you pay up. So doing with. Uh, Shops, you pay up, you pay up on space and everything, so I think overall I did alright. Uh, I don't know if the Queen wants to get the investment in this piece. They would have to have somebody representing them to pick it up. I'll just donate the painting to the Queen if she wants to hang it, so I might finish up a little bit more. Maybe make the lips a little bit more darker. Right now, I don't want to mess with anything because I can ruin it very easy. So, 
yes painting is very much of an investment and I don't have an easel or anything right now so I'm just painting on the table luckily I got you know space here I don't have any more paints at all so no canvas left and this if I find some canvas thrifting for like five bucks or something I could buy like a large canvas and paint over it if it's not too heavy or new canvas is about like 50 bucks so third thing you might find canvas for about 10 bucks so it's a lot cheaper so you can touch up the hair a little bit a little bit gray in the hair or a little bit more flesh and I might move the lips up a little bit but I'm not going to be too worried about that because the gap here is not that bad I could just like turn it in like go darker, darker. Just uh, you start playing with it too much. So this is just like a little gap. So I'm gonna put a shadow down here. Oh. And this is just like the end of the more like dry brushing it and then but to really put it to color I always need like another hundred bucks invested into it so I could I could try to get rid of some of this looks a lip. I do a straight line to get the eyes and the nose and the lips are pretty much okay so something like that again if you're too fussy with painting then it might be pretty tough for you but you want to have to have things accurate all the time so this is my painting of the queen Thanks for watching. The Queen. Get ready to touch things up a little bit later on. And I did it with the sketch, not the actual person in front of me. Oh, so that would be a totally different experience.